The construction sector was stuck in a system that didn't work well for anyone, from the supply chain through to clients and even those using buildings. The system had evolved to produce the cheapest building rather than the one that provided the greatest value over its lifetime. The Transforming Construction Challenge was established in 2018 to accelerate the transition away from a labour-intensive approach to constructing buildings. It came with the largest investment in the sector by UK government in a generation and a powerful shared vision of how the sector could better deliver buildings in a way that helped all of society, providing value over the lifetime of built assets, benefiting people using those buildings. Pioneers in construction collaborated with experts in manufacturing, digital and energy to develop new approaches. Build processes from supply chain through to site were standardised, so the system operated more like a factory, bringing greater efficiency and greater accuracy. Digital tools were adopted to better share information and track processes, to reduce wasteful steps. Renewable energy technologies were integrated into buildings to make them net zero, and part of the solution rather than a source of emissions. The ecosystem to support this transformation has been put in place through an unprecedented collaboration between government and industry. Government procurement has changed to embrace new methods and provide the same global leadership it had in adopting building information modelling. The systems and evidence of success are now in place to deliver buildings and infrastructure 50% faster, more safely, at a third lower lifetime cost, and with lifetime emissions halved or even fully net zero, all the while eliminating the construction productivity gap with the rest of the economy and increasing exports. Successes have been demonstrated across a range of building types. AIMCH is building more homes 52% faster than the industry average with the same skilled workforce and at a similar cost. So our Sigma 2 closed panel system is pre-insulated in the factory, windows are factory fitted, the floor cassettes are pre-finished and we have a ground direct roof system. The ground direct roof system is currently built on the deck beforehand, it's a structural timber system that then lifted up. And through the project we're looking at innovations including demountable roof beams and uh, pre-tiling the roof in the future so we can tile it, uh, put the fascians off it and then lift the whole roof as one single module on wind and watertight, ideally without scaffolding. The team led by Bristol City Council and YTKO have built Hope Rise, net zero carbon homes built over a car park for young people at risk of homelessness. It's a beautiful, spacious, um, peaceful, place to live and everybody that walks past is amazed and inspired about what can be done. It's awesome here, we've got solar panels, um, we've got an airflow uh, kind of heating system um, that's capturing the kind of excess heat air and pumping it around the house. The Active Building Centre is transforming construction and energy sectors by demonstrating and advancing best practice net zero carbon technology for active buildings, including a development with Flintshire County Council, meeting net zero at no extra cost. It's 20 new social housing homes and they want them to be net zero carbon. In terms of clean energy, you've got ways to capture the energy, heat pumps, solar panels and so forth. You've got ways to store energy for when the sun isn't shining or the, or the wind's not blowing. And then you've got control systems to make sure that you send the energy to the best possible place. Global Home are leading the way in increasing productivity and quality in mass home building. These homes can not only improve lives now, but adapt to the lifestyles of households as they change and grow. The Forge, the world's first net zero carbon kit of parts office. So this project really became, if you like, a focus for our innovation and innovative thinking in the way that we need to design and develop buildings going forward. At the heart of this strategy is the kit of parts approach to buildings, or what we call a platform design for manufacture and assembly approach. In the process of optimising the structure for the building, we've been able to minimise the use of materials, which has led to a significant reduction in the body carbon. The Department for Education has partnered with innovators to collectively invest £4 million in Gen Zero, transforming school buildings, creating new, improved design standards, which in turn reduce emissions and improve well-being for pupils and staff. 
Seismic brought together major supply chain players to standardise the design for steel framework used to construct schools. Seismic is delivering a 52% reduction in assembly time, digital designs taking minutes rather than weeks, and a 25% reduction in emissions associated with transport and materials. Traditionally, an architect will be employed to try and produce a feasibility study in line with area and adjacency requirements set by the Department for Education. This app seeks to pre-embed those area and adjacency requirements in the form of spatial design clusters. TIES is delivering physical and digital demonstrators and data tools, improving productivity for the construction of transport infrastructure. The TIES Ava Footbridge approach will reduce embodied carbon content by up to 50% and operational energy emissions by up to 60%. The challenge addressed improvements across all phases of construction. The Production Control Room provides construction teams with 50% more information, reducing daily briefings by two and a half hours a week and resulting in a 40% reduction of time spent for planners. Reporting can now be produced at the click of a button, saving as much as 10 days on large construction projects. Product-based building solutions streamlines the end-to-end -end project delivery process with a physically and digitally configurable kit of parts. It catalogues facades, structures and mechanical and electrical elements which can all integrate to form complete buildings. It means designers can not only select the best individual parts but can make data-driven decisions about which components work best with each other and are most effective and efficient to assemble. The PBBS project has seen a 40% reduction of lead time in the manufacturing phase against an original target to reduce on-site building time by 30%. And the learning camera. A camera monitoring system that learns to spot dangerous or suboptimal situations across a site, freeing up workers to concentrate on the task in hand. It also enables continuous remote monitoring. Hyperpile uses a hollow and impression pile design and lightweight, cement-free concrete to provide the same shaft-bearing capacity with fewer piles or narrower piles. The pile incorporates smart technology to monitor performance and integrate renewable technologies. Hyperpile reduces materials and emissions by up to 80% and improves on-site productivity. The Transforming Construction Network Plus united academic researchers with industry and policy representatives to tackle the most pressing problems across the digital, energy, construction and manufacturing space. We're looking at a step change in knowledge and mindset and breadth of attitude, if you like, within our sector. The Construction Innovation Hub brings together world-class expertise from the Manufacturing Technology Centre, BRE, and the Centre for Digital Built Britain. Value is the key to unlocking the transformation of our sector. How we use it and how fast we can go requires all of you to play your part. The Construction Playbook and Transforming Infrastructure Performance Roadmap to 2030 are examples of UK government policy embedding this transformation. The results of projects Transforming Construction have supported are being applied on over £14 billion worth of developments, with the pipeline taking this over £25 billion in a few years. The shift away from delivering the cheapest building to providing value to society is accelerating. How do we keep this transformation going? We call on the sector to publicly commit to platform systems, data-driven processes and net zero innovation. Embedding the impact of this unprecedented collaboration between government and industry will place construction as the exemplar in building back greener and better. Thank you to those of you who have been part of this challenge. And if you haven't yet, how can you be?